Right, welcome back to my vlogs everybody and this one's a bit different now you know if you've watched my old ones or if you're new thank you for watching you can go watch the old ones but I usually do a tour of the Cat in Columbus don't need to I've done it so many times you can go back to vlogs I've been out in January this year last year I've been out a couple of times it hasn't changed that much so what I am going to do though for people who are staying here I thought let's go outside this resort and let's show you what bars and restaurants possibly could be there for you to go and try out it won't be a long walk it'll just literally be out the front door to a little left to see a couple of bars and even supermarkets little mini supermarkets like a tesco's express that are connected to the hotel and a bar and that down that way then we're going to go a bit further left right down there down there actually that's what we're going to do and i'm going to show you the bars and restaurants just around that vicinity hopefully this might be longer than 15 20 it's quite a lot of different things for you to see bars restaurants for anybody who wants to try this stuff i'm doing it in daytime so you won't see the nightlife but should make it a little easier for you to see what we're looking at because truth is i'm using a um, i love samsung by the way so disclaimer samsung if you're watching this i don't hate you i just hate your cameras on your phones i'm using a samsung galaxy s22 ultra right i'm not being rude I'm taking photos at night and that Mwah. videos this is where the apple iphone beat us one more thing as well actually um if you'd like to buy me a coffee or anything like that a beer even help your software get a camera for this i have two ways you can send me money if you want to um i'm not going to bring this up on every vlog so really it'll just come up on the screen it's probably on the screen now but um two ways of doing it is cash app and paypal i'm not monetized yet so officially i'm not making money i'm just trying to get better software and stuff to do this better um a couple of people at home said to me why don't you try this and i've had a few um people email me saying they'd like to send money and i really don't want it but if they want to do it it's all fine by me so the two ways of doing it um we've got an app called cash app it's legit do not worry about it it's very easy to use I don't care how much you send I really don't I don't care if you send nothing it's just you know if you'd like to help me try and grow this channel and also we got PayPal as well how do you get these because I know you think they've come on the screen saying that I've got these apps well if you go in my show note bit when I tell you what it's all about it's all going to be on there and just as I've done this I'm going to go out now because the family are back so I'm going to go out and record these areas and see you in a bit okay reception of hotel columbus anyway i'm gonna walk out now and show you um there's a few bars to the right that way up there but we're not going to go that way i feel like if you want to go there you can go to them but probably the harder ones to get to so let's go for a walk So I think my plan's gonna be, is I'm gonna go down the left, down there first, show you what's down there, come back, circle all the way down there, and then I'm gonna walk all the way back up here again, show you what's down this side. This is the stuff that's just basically near the hotel, and it should be a quite useful one to do. Nice doggy. I always tell people, please do not go near these doggies. There's been some accidents out here with doggies biting people, um, just petting them. Because let's face it, these dogs don't know us. So why should we think they should? So straight away, as I can say, that is the K in Columbus, as you can see. We've got a little, is it dial, dial pricks? Like a Tesco's Express downstairs. With your hotel key, you do get 5% off in there. Now uh, that calf, I believe it is the obstacle calf. It's actually part of the, the supermarket. Bohemians Garden Restaurant Cafeteria. I'm not sure if that's still open or if it opens later at night. Craft store is closed. Chieftain, very good for sport. British, Irish beers, Irish breakfast, Scottish breakfast, anything like that. Great roast on a Sunday as well. So that one's there, the old Chieftain couple of newbies here I can't say it is it Alala I think it's Alala anyway 
that's your American, you know, diner sort of stuff, pancakes. He's like, Marshall's Sports Bar. I think that's only been open maybe just a year now. Nice fine dining Italian restaurant down here. Very nice Italian restaurant actually. It clearly has daily specials. And as you can see upstairs as well, the super, is it Dino or Dino? People in comments, <laughs> tell me what it is. Because I hear different people saying it, I ain't got a clue. This is the bigger store out of the two connected to the hotel and also it looks like down here I don't know if they're still in business Oasis um, what's a rental car business so obviously that's the hotel parking here so there's not much really up this way just here why well, I decided to do this part first and then second we will see my favorite bar down here you've got hardware stores and that as well so strange things like that you don't know how long you're staying for you might want some of this stuff so it's all in there just there, the hardware store. Across the road. As I record this, I believe my friend China is staying in that hotel. The California. Always double check when you're crossing the road. I know they're meant to stop, but you never know. Couple of bars here, we've got Top Bar. It's obviously a sports bar as well. If you want to book some excursion stuff just here. Downstairs a little shop again. You've got kebabs a life up there, so you want a few kebabs, more excursion people. Downstairs bar down here. Soho. As you can see this I show all the sport down there. Got pool tables down there as well. No one's gonna argue with me here. This is the best sports bar though, isn't it? YOLO's. Yeah, mate. Yeah, it's all good, man. Just doing a quick video for people, showing them what's around the Cane Columbus. Yeah, they don't even know about anywhere else in the uh, here. This, two yeah, yeah, you tell them. Beers from three euros, seven or eight drafts, 14 screens. Do any 10 events at one time. Anything up to National League or the SPL. They even show Chelsea how much as you hate them. <laughs> Chelsea fan turn up for that. I'm here! <laughs> and it's been a hard season. <laughs> right, cheers back man. Well, you too. And they obviously got the, is it the Tigger Tan Hotel just here. You can see I'm gonna quickly circle back there because there's a restaurant across the road but there you go. Bit of self promotions from the great Yolo Sports Bar going there. Great bar for your sports. So obviously as I say, is it the Tig Tan four star hotel? Funny enough, as I record this, my friend Simon shows up tomorrow to stay here. Right now it looks empty. It's very creepy how empty that looks. I was joking with him the other day, so I'm gonna see the doors open. <laughs> that it's shut and it looks dead. So we'll just have a quick look inside. I'm actually gonna vlog this. He's um given me permission to vlog this. So it should be an interesting one that door's not open as you can see this door's open so one door's not working but i'm actually going to do a full tour vlog of this resort so keep an eye out for that but here's a quick look now this is reception just a little taster for you before one more comes along in the future so i'm going to walk back on myself now so i'm going to walk that way that way now and then take you down where there's loads of bars restaurants you all right? Right, we're back down here and I forgot about this. Right upstairs is a new bar. I think it's called Sam's Corner. I might go and vlog that actually. Go and check it out. It's right in the next, well, it is on the KN Columbus, but you have to walk down here and then go up the stairs. So if you have disabilities, there is a ramp all the way down there where the super dino is. And then you have to walk all the way down. But let's continue on with a walk now and show you what's down this way. We've got canaries.com, apparently do rent the cars and excursions just there. The Jersey Cow, I know there's a lot of karaoke what goes on there at night times. I'm sure I'll get a lease in there eventually, that's my niece. So to get into Jersey Cow, it's a bit more harder, but you go up there. Karaoke here every night. 
and some of the people you'll get here. Saturdays you'll get a Neil Diamond Hotel Tenerife night with Chris Bryan. Lee Jackson is the host of the karaoke. And so is David Frame as well. Fridays look like you get a Jed Bolton Rod Stewart experience. So yep, plenty of live music and karaoke to go on in there. Down here I have it on an old vlog, we've got the Asian supermarket. So if you'd like to check in there, go and check that out. And just a you know typical shop you'll find in Tenerife has got everything you need and a hell of a lot if you want to rent e-scooters right here yeah, again I've got nothing against them e-scooters myself personally would I have one at home get me to and from work a lot quicker right straight away Bollywood Tandoori and Indian restaurant right here if we just look very carefully I'm not gonna be looking at the menus but yeah that's what it looks like inside Few restaurants coming up here also if I'm quiet every once in a while it's just I haven't really got much to say it's probably nice for you just to have the scenery well, walking up now is it martini restaurant clearly there's everything from steak pizza fresh fish and many more things probably pasta very nice looking restaurant I'll slow down a bit so you can see the restaurant there it is if it's a bit bumpy this I do apologize I lost my gimbal and brought with me giddy goose another great bar yeah again watch your sport there we go knickknack shop now New Year's four we were gonna have a birthday dinner here, but apparently they're shut for now. So the Nears is shut. They reckon they're coming back on the 20th of is it July? Be interesting when I'm back out here to see if that's true. This opens at night time, you can babs and all that stuff. Usually have a TV on there, football. Ah, useful thing for some people. Nice chemist. We've used this one quite a few times, so I can recommend it. You've also got the new park, American City was obviously gambling. Spice of India. Tandoori and Thai as well. And then you've got Pompeii. Italian restaurant, another nice restaurant. As you can see many, many of them. You've got the trolley, what, it's good to do tours on. It did its whistle at the perfect time. Another mini casino. There's the trolley. This is one of your pickup points. So you're not far from the can I'm not sure how much it cost. I don't think it actually says. So we can have a look. It's just a station. And times 10.40 to 8.40 every hour it will show up. But no pricing. I'm not sure how much it is unfortunately. Well, up Santa and there, but I'm not sure if that's still open either. More e-scooters. So we're going to pop down here. Then I'm going to pop quickly down to probably as far as Leonardo's and then we'll circle back up. That girl showed me what I could never do. Skateboarding well. I'd always fall on my ass. I was terrible at it. It was funny though. Some of the e-scooters. See, as long as they slow down, just be careful and look out for people. It does bug me one thing, they should make their minds up paths or road. We've got Wakanda's, I actually like that. Brilliant to go there at night time, very well lit up. Nice bar. So it's about less than a year again, maybe, maybe a year, I can't remember. And there's Wakanda. Unfortunately, the shop was clearly shut down. Maybe I should have that shop. Boss, maybe it's Sunday though. I am recording this on a Sunday, so maybe it's just shut on Sundays. Colon too, what's a resort? But a little mini restaurant bit outside as well. I don't know if it's a restaurant or a bar. I'm going to say bar. We 
we go. I'm so used to holding my gimbal, I'm not looking really, I should be looking at the camera. More e-scooters, see they're everywhere. So I could go all the way down this road but I feel like I'm going too far at that point so I'm just going to go up to I think Sunglass City and see it and then I'm going to cross over. There is a few more down that way but it's probably better for you to look. I may go a little bit further, I may go to the um, Irish pubs. Yeah that's how far as I go. That's, that's typical me people who get used to me doing like that. One, I have one plan then I change it in the last seconds. I'm always doing it. See, obviously shut today because it's a Sunday, but you got all the stylish shops. <laughs> Mini road right in the middle, as you see, one way road. Let's keep an eye for it. We will be checking all that out on that side in a minute. Aldo is open on a Sunday. Aldo is stone shut for Sundays. Now, next year, the resort was coming up here. I've got booked with my mate Danny. Yes, I'm sorry, Kane in Columbus, for the first time in God knows how many years, I'm trying a different resort. Has anybody ever stayed here? I've heard it's had upgrades. We booked it through British Airways, the HD Parquet Crystal Border Terminal EP. So we're going to be staying here. It's a bungalow, isn't it? We've got a two bedroom bungalow. Only staying for three nights, just a quick short stay. Just check it out to see if it's something interests us. Sunglass City here. Then you've got your places where you can get your perfumes, your tobacco. I think I'm getting closer to the bars now. Uh, you can see this is a taxi pickup point as well. There's one right next to the gate in Columbus. Just where the um, shops are, the um, supermarkets. So, gives you an idea. I think they're starting to pick up again now. There was a period through uh, just after COVID, you didn't see many taxis, but seems to be a lot more this day and age. I won't be walking down there. I feel like that could be another vlog in the future. Another rent a car company. And obviously excursions again. I'm sure a lot of you, anybody watches this because of the night stride and those or this one, Tandoori Hut. That's just down there. It's like they're getting ready to open up. Just down here. Please wait here to be seated, but that's Tandoori Hut. They've also got another bigger one in Los Cristianos now. Sugar and spicy. And is it Dido's Dedos? I believe my friend from the Incredible Royalsons Gaza loves this place. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to upset people recording, but that's that one down there, so. Very nice, I've got to say. That burgers, they look very appetizing. Well, I was thinking about what, well, as I said, I'm at nearly at La Siestas. I don't really want to go much further than La Siesta, so I'm not going to go down to the Irish bars or further down, because I feel like I'm taking you too far at that point. I've, I've gone mad and gone past them and didn't even clock them. <laughs> it's not like me. So that is the La Siesta Hotel. You've got a sh shop place there, nice little kids park. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be turning around any second, actually. And across the road once we get up to La Siesta. I believe I can hear the parakeet birds up on top in the trees. Shame they're not flying to catch them. They were actually flying last night over the Cane Columbus, hundreds of them it felt like. And it was really good, it's just a shame it was so dark you couldn't see them properly, you could see their like silhouettes. So, yeah again as I said that's a result here that the Incredible Wilsons have stayed at um, Hotel La Siesta I believe they've got a vlog up on that so if you want to check this out go and check their old, out their old vlog right so I am going across here and go back on myself I must have gone past the bars without realising enjoying myself too much so downstairs down there if you're a vapor there's a very good vape shop downstairs so you go inside there and there's a very good vape shop um, I don't vape I just know people who do so so we've got restaurant Volcano 
volcanoes, yep, grill. It's got an Icelandic menu. Very nice. Another chemist. I believe that's part of San Diego too there, up here. Got a Vesante Grill, El is it El Cedro? Don't you love it when a British person pretends they can speak like a different language and they just sound stupid? A bad deal on there, two for 49. That is a very good deal. Yeah. Tell people why they should come in here. Yeah. Yes, good restaurant? Yeah. One of the best. I will, I'll bring my family down. Thank you. You too, sir. Down there, there is a doctor's hidden away places down here. Looks like a hairdresser's as well. Maybe that's a skate shop. I'm not too sure. It seems to be a mixture of loads of things. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Santiago too. I was all right. Always try different places out to eat, people. Don't always go back to your... I know you've got your favourites. Really do try some others. So there's, there's loads of stuff down here. Another dial... Is it dial pricks? <laughs> Damn. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's hot, but I'm feeling good. So we've got Daniel's Lounge. That's a nice bar. Nice and open. Yeah, again, another big TV. Who doesn't show sport? Looks like they sell Dadado in there, if you're into that one. It's a cocktail bar, so you get some good cocktails there. Los Angeles restaurant. Right here. Have loads of cocktails there. You can see like, these places as I record this. So I'm just getting ready to have the evening and night people you never know what this one's called here. I need to find it. Ah, I did walk past them, by the way, without even realising. So, cocktail patch, apparently. Loads, a few more things down here, but yeah, again, I'm not going to be walking down that way. Keep an eye out for traffic. Uh, this is fishy a road, so you always should be careful walking down here. So these are the bars, Gaelic Corner. It's actually a pretty cool bar, actually. Very busy at night time. Downstairs as well is the Dublin, though. You have to go downstairs for that one, though, if it's still open. It was open when I was here in January, but that's all the way down there. So I don't see many people in there, but yeah, Gaelic Corner. Got your typical bank, supermarkets. You're a vlogger. Yeah, it's what I'm trying to be. <laughs> YouTube? Um, yeah. Fair play. Yeah. Got many followers? Um, just under a thousand now, so I'm getting there. I only started about a year and a half ago, oh, really? so yeah. Keep it up. Cheers, man. You got the um, H10 La Pamirias, and that's another great result. I'll walk you down here. Railway Tavern. You don't actually drink inside this one really, you sit out here. See? There's a railway tavern spot on. Quiz night, 10 pm. <laughs> That's a great bar actually. <laughs> More bars there. <laughs> Nick Nack shop. It's two plus. So a few things down here, just nick nick. So we'll go back up on ourselves. Don't forget the fish and chip shops there as well. It actually does some magnificent fish and chips. As long as you buy a beer, you can sit out the bar as well. I'm not really saying much about the nick nacks shops. I don't think I really need to say much about them. The Savoy, very well known one. I bet here, when I was out here in November, I can't remember what year I was out, a really bad storm in November. Danny came out and the day he went home, the weather turned beautiful, but for three or four days, never seen anything like it. So let's avoid it. Three course menu for 10.95. No! Hey, hey. There we go. Got a lot of, is it Rosas? 
got loads of assets as well they also do a free course meal so you've got many places with many choices another dude showing me i've had to skateboard i feel like i should learn <laughs> i tell you what if i get to a thousand subscribers by let's say let's be fair what are we doing now if i get to a thousand subscribers by the end of august <laughs> Or have a go on anybody who brings a skateboard to me and I'll vlog it. Make your bikes, what you can rent. Nice and easy. So we're just going to walk down there and then we're going to walk back up to the hotel. And I hope that just gives you a load of ideas where to go. Got PJ Sports Bar, a lot of people go there, especially when the football's on. That is just to give you ideas across from Wakanda's. So there's PJ's. You can get snacks there, but generally it's just a bar. <laughs> so, so I'll just quickly take you down to this part and then walk straight back up that side to show you some restaurants and bars, another excursion place. Some nice villas. That one's massive. Does anybody know who owns that? Would they like to rent it to me for free. When I say rent, free. <laughs> Couldn't afford it. Which is good. I'll tell you what for June, we've had, even when the clouds here, but when the sun comes out, it gets humid very quick. Feels like whole land though weather to me. But when the breeze starts, oh it's beautiful. Well, if you're still here, thank you for watching. And if you ever thought about subscribing to me and pressing that bell notification so when the more vlogs drop, you'll get to know about them. That hotel over there is the Soul of Tenerife. Just like to give you an idea of the area I'm in. So I'm going to go to the restaurant what's on this side and then I'm going to cross over to Leonardo's and that and walk back on myself. There is a sprinter sports center down there um more like for people like bikes and that sort of one uh, the cathlon in england i believe we call them so if you that sort of sports shop it's not going to be the type where you get all your football kits and all that stuff in <laughs> i gotta say it's very quiet right now maybe most people are just chilling getting ready to have dinners back in their rooms been swimming all day Very interesting. They love a Kia out here, Kia Rio. Funny news about that is I've never really seen one before where I live. My mum's actually getting one when we get back to England. She's getting herself a new car for you. She knows just to be nice and comfortable. And um, that's the car she's getting. I'm seeing them everywhere out here. I suppose it's that thing once you hear about something, you always see it, don't you then? not too far from the beaches by the way guys but I feel that if that had ever happened that would be another vlog in the future showing you the way to beaches so we're gonna go to this restaurant and then we're gonna go back over the road We've got a lovely steakhouse restaurant here El Mer is it Americano oh last time me and Danny here we had bad taste of it it took them too long to serve us the member of staff working that night was rude but I've had there before, it was really good, so we are going to try again next time I bring them out here, but I'm not sure what's going on that day, sometimes you just have a bad day, don't you? So anyway, I'm going to swap back over now. Now this is a bar most people know about, especially, you know, I'm Del Boy Americas. Why have I started saying that? Because I realised, well I was told by gas. <laughs> that I, I wasn't saying play a day last America's right, I was mucking it up. So I started changing it to Del Boy America's. So here it is, the uh, famous Leonardo Sports Bar. Yet again, when the football's on, there's big games on. This place is absolutely popping. A little bit inside, they usually have live music in there as well. Or a DJ or karaoke. A lot of sitting outside, it's a pretty good place to sit actually. And then right next door to it, a lot of people love this place as well. The Traveller's Rest. Just there. Then we've got loads of knick-knack shops, haven't we? So I think they're going to be very good to look at. 
if you want to go into them by all means go into them i think there's an excursion place right in the middle again to say you've got plenty of places of excursions so you know if you've got the time walk around price them up against each other and see who gives you the best deals and just because they give you one one gave you the best deal one day doesn't mean it's always going to be the best so double check yourself Yeah, so we were told today it was meant to be super cloudy all day. And this is, I believe, nearly 6 p.m. And the sun is blaring. Across here, we've got the Romantico restaurant. I've had lunch there. I've been there quite a few times. Also, you have the acts like Elvis singing there. I think you have a country singer as well sometimes. I can't remember who that is. But as you can see, we are now going back on ourselves. We have a new one as well, bubble tea drinks. So if you like bubble tea tea drinks, have you tried 18 C T E A? It's definitely new, it definitely wasn't here in January. So if you like your bubble drinks, your bubble tea drinks, I don't want to say bubble tea tea drinks, because if you say bubble tea, I'm kind of going to guess what you want. <laughs> but there we go, look at that. If you're into that sort of stuff, many 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 choices as well looks very nice yeah very modern looking we've also got a restaurant there steakhouse i actually have breakfast i've never actually eaten out in the evening more knickknack shops pros and cocktails it's the same people if you want something different so you can either sit out here or if you want to keep away from the sun and that they do have it. So you go, La Boca. There we go. They do have sitting inside as well. So this is a good place to go at night time after a good night's drink. The kebab shops and the Chinese. My mate Danny swears by these Chinese once we've been out for drinks. More excursions. And the act shops coming up. Ah. The Lily restaurant. Yeah, very good food in there. Cocktails and juice. Yeah. Also do a free course meal in here as well. It's there. $12.95 for a free course meal. Think about that. Restaurant Day Hong Kong. I've actually done a vlog on this. I do love eating my Chinese here. Yeah, again, they do really good deals in this one. Um, if there's people coming with you. Look, menu for two people, 13 90 each, but you get so much different menus, and then you can you can you can mix and match stuff as well. Do your sushi, but if you actually want to see a vlog on that, go back to my older vlog and you'll see that. I'm not gonna say Atlantico, another restaurant. I think I had breakfast here in the World Cup, and right, all these roads here. It went England, Wales, England, Wales, England, Wales. Everyone lined up and it was pure accident, but all the football fans, we had a good banner in there. I know people said there was fights going on, but 90% of the time it was all getting on. You got the English Road, great place for horse racing and betting. Sharon Sport. Been told they do a very nice English breakfast. What? Delilah. There you go, if I sing over here, I can't be done for copyright, surely. Because my singing is terrible. <laughs> Maybe he'll sue me for that. Right there is the La Pyramids Hotel. It's a great hotel for youngsters. That's all I'm going to say. My nephew and that went there in their early 20s. <laughs> I put him in there because I knew better. Right, right there is, um, is the Allegra Barranco Apartment Hotel. And right here is the Anchor Sports Bar. Yet again, another really loved sports bar. Irish sports bar. Horse racing all day, karaoke's at night and all that. They have kids food, adult meals, very interesting. Another place, Simon's coming out here. So I think me and him will go and check this place out. Karaoke dance party with Chris. The feet flash or something, you need it. Right up here we have another Super Dino Dino. I'm just gonna say both and the hairdressers. Pretty good prices as well for the hairdressers. That is all in Spanish air, but... Man, cut, 12 euros. Washed, 10 euros. If you want your hair colours. Women cuts as well. Just all normal women cut, 15 euros. There we go, you've got the super 
Hyperdino is here and the entrance to the Allegro Branco resort. To give you a perspective, there's the Cayman Columbus. So pretty much we are coming to the end of this vlog again. So before I do actually go, and I'm not ending yet, as I said before, could you subscribe to me and press that bell notification like this video? Possibly share it to friends, family, or anybody you think would be interested. We must try and get more of these videos out to out more people, especially people who are staying at the Cayman Columbus right now, to give them an idea what's around their resort. But we continue on, there's a few more to go. We're not over and done with yet. But wait, there's more. We do have a restaurant up here. Lebanese restaurant. Just give you an idea, get in the way. More excursions. The excursion places are like Crawley Town where I live, but it's a coffee shop every corner. <laughs> and so you've got the Peking Garden up there. You've got Aberdeen Steakhouse. You do have a few things up here like pharmaceutical, um, um, chemists, things like that. And right here, I believe this is basically coming towards the end now. We've got Irish Bar Paddy O'Kelly's. I do have a fantastic roast in here. It's not the cheapest, but oh my God, it's beautiful. I'm getting attacked by pigeons. And just one small little thing across the road from the hotel that I'll show you before we return to the KN Columbus and just give you an idea of some of the things what is around this hotel I really hope you've enjoyed this and I hope my droning voice hasn't put you off too much yeah so this is the last little area right here you've got a little supermarket and kebab fried chicken get it KFC kebab fried chicken well done on them just in there and that is it as we now return to the K in Columbus don't look for a part of the road to cross over by the way I'm just going to show you something quickly nothing to do with what, eating drinking or anything like that over there some good places for football if you pay for it as we cross the road here back to the K in Columbus go sorry I was taking a couple of photos at the same time love some mountain view so you know the can climbers is steps and if you've got suitcases disabilities or anything like that it can be pretty hard for elderly people or anybody that's the steps up if you just walk up here there we go nice little flat surface to come across and doesn't that make life a hell of a lot easier? Right, bend over for this bit. So that is the end of the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the bars and restaurants, what's around, the resort, and anything else that's interested you. Thanks for watching this. Many more to come. And as always, be epic.